hang on. Hang on, let me fix it. Uh, okay. We're good? We're good? All right. We're good. Let's do this. <clears throat> Hello there, friends. My name is Wally Darling, if you don't know me already, and I welcome you to my show. Um, let's see a little bit about me. I am Three Apples High. I am a painter. I live in a wonderful house named home. Um, when I say hi to the audience, all. He's a little shy. Hi, Wally here. Um, I am here to correct myself as I have made a mistake when I was telling you my height. See, I am 12 apples high, which is 3 feet. And sometimes I like to say I am 3 apples high because I get things confused. Just so you know, I am 3 feet, but 12 apples high. Alright, let's continue. Um, I also don't really care for rain. Every time it rains, my hair gets all messed up, and it takes me over an hour and a half to do it. It's quite a hassle. I also really love apples. Not for eating, though. Just for admiring their beauty. My favorite type of apple, though, is Red Delicious. You gotta love the classic red. But enough about me. Let's go on to talk about my wonderful neighbor, starting off with Julie Joyful, the most joyfulest member in our neighborhood and my bestest friend. No offense, Barnaby, if you're seeing this. Let's hop to it. Well, uh... Hi there, friends. My name is Julie Joyful, if Wally hasn't told you already. I really love to play games, plant flowers, hang around with my friends. Hmm. I'm also really fond of rain. Wally hates it because he gets his hair messy if he hasn't told you already. Don't tell him I told you that. But for me... I just love it when the water, you know, just hits my face and stuff. It's quite fun. Um, I also think I might be autistic. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it is quite possible. Anyways, I hope to continue seeing you guys. Okay, Wally, we can cut it right here. Hi. So, apparently Wally wants me to talk to this camera thing for some odd reason. I don't exactly know why, but... I don't know. At least I get to tell you about myself. So, hi. I'm Sally Starlet. I like to throw plays. I like to throw plays. I like to throw plays. I like to hang out with my friends. Did I mention I like to throw plays? Yeah, no, I thought so. But seriously, though, I just love theater. I used to see a lot of plays back when I was a star, which kind of doesn't make sense because I was in the sky. But I mean, if I'm looking down on the earth, I'm bound to see things. Yeah, I don't think Wally has ever told you that backstory, but I used to be a star in the sky before I fell. I don't exactly remember how I fell, I just remember falling and then ending up here. I met Wally, he was extremely nice to me, and I thought, hey, why not just stay here? So, that's where I am today. I am currently working on a play, as you can clearly see. It's not ready yet. It's still in a lot of development, and I'm still trying to cast and, like, do stuff, you know, like a director. I hope to one day achieve my goal as being a professional playwriter. Wally says I have the potential. Frank says I have the potential. Although, Barnaby doesn't really see it yet, but he will one day. I know he will. Anyways, yeah, peace out. I have no idea why I agree to this, but since I am his friend, I kinda have no choice. Hi, I am Frank Frankly. I like to study things, more specifically butterflies. I don't know why, but I have some sort of fascination with the way they are. Keep this between you and me, but sometimes I like to sneak into Howdy's store and watch him do things. He is a caterpillar after all. Have you met Howdy yet? I don't think you have, but he's a caterpillar. And you know, caterpillars, they turn into butterflies. So, yeah. I just watch his behaviors, just look at him, just admire him. It, it, don't make it weird, though. I'm already with somebody, all right? But uh, what else do I have to say about myself? I would say I'm the smartest of the group. I would hate to be a brag, but everyone knows it's true. Everyone just talks about the same thing over and over again. And here I am trying to be frank about my decisions. Get it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, leave the comedy to Barnaby. I've been told that a lot of times. I mean, I could be a comedian too, you know. 
I may be a nerd, but at least I have some good jokes. Like, like, like this one, like this one. What do you call a person with no nose? Nobody knows. Get it? Yeah, I really gotta work on my comedy. All right, let's do this. Interview time. Howdy there, folks. My name is Eddie Dare. Um, about myself, I am a mailman, as you can clearly see, and I like to forget things. Well, I don't like to, but I tend to. I mean, just last week, I forgot to deliver something to Poppy, and she was really, really mad at me. A few weeks earlier, I forgot to shave. I know that's a little too personal, but, I mean, I forget. Sometimes I forget what my folks look like. I sometimes forget what Frank looks like. I sometimes forget what I look like. That's why I have to look in the mirror 24-7. I think they call it dementia. See, I almost forgot what that meant for a second. Yeah, I'm forgetting things left from right, up and down, and all around the circle. But, I mean, hey, I'm still a good friend and stuff. Uh... I don't really know what else to say about myself other than those two things in particular. Oh, oh, I got one. I'm a big fan of arts and crafts. Wally may be the painter, but I can make a pretty good chain. If you want to see me make one, just stick around. I'll be happy to show you. But, uh, yeah, have fun, guys. Wait, that was not what I was supposed to say. I was supposed to say something else. Uh, well, here I am again, forgetting things. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait. I'm confused. Why do we have to record this in two different shots? We're at the same place at the same time. Could have recorded it the same time. Oh, yeah. You're right. All right. Let's make this quick and easy for you. My name is Timber Trouble. My last name speaks for myself as I am a troublemaker. That's the one thing I love to do. I love troublemaking. It's very fun. But at the same time, I really love candy and getting on people's nerves. I'm not a big fan of Wally, but I will admit he is cool at times. There was this one time where we were at Howdy's store, and we both looked at each other and were like, we're gonna steal some candy and apples. And that's exactly what we did. Like, we grabbed them, and we ran. And Howdy decided to chase after us because, well, we were stealing. I don't really call it stealing. I personally call it borrowing. At least that's what my mom told me. And I got scolded more than Wally, but it was fun seeing Wally getting scolded, you know, because he normally never does. But, uh, yeah, stick around to see more of me if you wanna. I don't bite. At least, not hard. Well, I never thought I would be the one to be interviewed instead of me interviewing other people. That's the wrong word. I should say interrogate. That's a good word. Um, I... My name is Candy Cat. I am a detective, meaning I like to solve crimes and catch criminals. I would say I am a police officer, but not exactly. I also really love to eat sugar, which is kind of a bad thing, but a good thing at some times. I don't know. Um, I'm not a huge fan of apples. Wally hates that I don't like apples, but I just don't like the way they're shaped and the way they taste. It's... It's not appetizing to me. Like, every time I eat it, I just hurl. Like, I just don't like it. Like, it tastes weird. I'm also not that fond of milk. And I know, I know, cats are supposed to like milk. But then again, do we really have to? I, I like to question things. I'm a bit of a theorist. I like to question things and come up with my own theories on things. For example, is life a simulation? Of course, we've all had that theory before, but I'm serious here. I mean, you'll, you'll never know. You'll never know. I can be a little weird at times, but it's just my, you know, it's just my nature. Anyways, uh, see you guys later. Well, hi there, folks. My name is Barnaby B. Be Be Beevil. Don't ask what the B stands for. I don't really know either. <laughs> um, fun fact. I think everyone has told you this already, but I am a comedian. I'm also adopted, which I don't think any of you care, but I just wanted to get that off the way to clear some air in case of confusion later on in the series. But yeah, I'm a comedian, a proud comedian. I may not be the best comedian in the world, but I'll admit I've made some pretty good knee swappers. If you stick around long enough, you will see for yourself. I'm pretty good at what I do. I know Frank says he could be a comedian. Well, uh... I think you should just stick to the butterfly, you know. You know, just stick to the butterfly searching. 
The comedian thing is my thing, so step aside. And for Sally, to be a professional play writer, I mean, I'm not saying she doesn't have the potential, but I'm simply saying I don't think she's ready for it. I'm just trying to protect her as a friend, that's all. But, uh, yeah, I also know how to ride a unicycle, which you probably don't care about that either. I'm just spitting a bunch of random things at you. I mean, you did say, say something, anything in front of the camera. So, uh, live your dream, even if you think it's impossible. That's all I'm gonna say. Which doesn't relate to anything I just said about Frank being a comedian and... S I need to get my thoughts straight. Uh, yeah, uh, next person, I guess. See, look, I'm mad about the fact that Wally put me second to last in this interview thing. That just proves that he doesn't like me very well. I feel bad for Poppy because I believe she's last. I'm not so sure. How many people have you guys seen so far? I lost count. But, uh, hi there. I'm Howdy Pillar. As you can tell, I am a caterpillar. That's quite obvious. See, here's the thing about all of us. We're not very good when it comes to being interviewed. We've gone on interviews before, but every time we do, we end up saying something stupid about ourselves. I mean, I just watched, um, Eddie's recording, and I can tell you that he definitely made me uncomfortable when he said the shave thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna make all of y'all uncomfortable. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll admit, he's a really, really nice fellow, but this man here, he does... He does quite a lot. But, um... I own a shop, which Wally and Timber like to go and frequently and steal my things. And I don't think Frank knows this, but I know he watches me. I look at this man every day with his binoculars, just like, mm, mm interesting, interesting. Bro thinks I'm gonna become a butterfly. I normally do not like to say bro because I find that to be an absurd term. But you know what? You know what? It's time that we start changing the way we speak nowadays. I mean, I don't feel like having to call someone man every few seconds. It sounds more proper to me and my family, but I mean, does it really matter? I know. I, I honestly do not know. But, um, yeah. Stick around and see me in action. You might see me actually beat the living heck out of Wally if he keeps stealing my apples for the 1,000th time. You know what? I think he's doing... Wally! Out! Yeah, you! Out! Right now! I really try not to do this, but Wally said I should because it'll make me feel more comfortable. But the fact that the people are gonna watch this is kind of making me a little, um, a little vulnerable right now. <sighs> okay, I can do this. My name is Poppy Partridge. I love baking with a burning passion. I usually bake in special occasions and sometimes just for fun. I make these real good cookies of all my friends and they really love them and it's kind of their, especially Wally since it's their favorite thing. Sometimes it can be a little silly. <laughs> I'm, I'm very frazzled as people like to say. I wouldn't say frazzled, but I would just say a little bit out of my comfort zone, which I don't really like to go above my comfort zone. If anything, I just like to sit down, bake, read, and look after safety. And like, they would say I'm very paranoid, which I don't really like the word paranoid. I just care about my friends to a certain extent, so I try to make sure that they're safe. And yeah, they might be like, whoa, Poppy, slow down, I'm completely fine, it's just a scar. Um, you'll never know. Sometimes it could be just a scar and it ends up leading to something more serious. I mean, it's happened in many occasions and I always end up being right at the end. But there are times where I do get a little too over paranoid and stuff and it kind of does leave an effect on people and how they see me. I'm sorry if I'm rambling about stupid things, I'm just not comfortable with this but uh yeah um don't don't ask me what species of bird i am to be honest i really don't know myself that's the one thing i'm still trying to figure out what am i am i a peacock a chicken or also don't call me big bird big bird big bird i'm sorry i, I can't get my word straight don't call me big bird i am not big bird i am poppy the uh yeah uh Bye. And cut. All right. Good job, Poppy. You did amazing. 
All right, now that we've got the video wing out the way, let's finally move on to the actual interview part of this episode. Wait, this wasn't the interview? So, Julie, I hate to keep you long, so let's just make this short. Who is your least and most favorite neighbor in our neighborhood? Well, my favorite neighbor has to be Frank, since we have been friends for a while, and he's really smart, sweet, kind, and all that. But my least favorite neighbor, it's kind of a toughie, but... I don't want to be mean, but I would have to say Poppy is my least favorite. And give me one or more reasons as to why Poppy is your least favorite neighbor. Wow! Julie, what are you doing? You're gonna catch yourself a cold! Julie, I really don't think you're supposed to be putting that inside the pool. What in the pool explode? Pretty be- Okay, uh, uh, don't panic, don't panic. I have every safety precaution needed. Julie, buckle in your seatbelt. You wanna go flying out this car? I will gladly make you do it. Oh my goodness gracious, I am surrounded by a bunch of reckless idiots. How the heck am I still living with you? Wait, I don't live with you. Precisely. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm losing my marbles. I mean, it's not like I don't understand where she's coming from. I know she's trying to protect me, but at the same time, I am not a baby that needs to be watched over 24-7. Last time, I was eating a bowl of soup that was left in the oven and I just took it out. And I'm like, oh, that looks tasty and I almost ate it. She had to blow off the steam with a fan and tell me that I'm gonna burn my, my taste buds off. This is exactly why I don't like her. Like, I mean, I love her, but at the same time, you know, it's just, wow, overbearing. My most favorite neighbor would probably have to be Poppy. I mean, her sweets are top tier. But when it comes to my least favorite, it would have to be you, Wally. You're definitely my least favorite. Wait, why am I your least favorite? Is that even a serious question? Okay, in order for this heist to work well, we need to be quiet and stealthy and always alert. Got that? Got it. All right, let's do this. I mean, the episodes were impactable, am I right? Ah, yeah, especially from seasons one to four. Those are like the best. Okay, go, 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 put everything in, put everything, come on, come on, come on, let's go, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. Look, I'm going as fast as I can, can you wait? God, Lee, I'm 10 years old, even I have more patience than you. I'm sorry, but it's only a matter of time before- Hey, what are y'all two doing? Uh-oh, uh -oh. this can't be good. Run! You two get your stealing selves back here right this instant. You steal from me non-stop that it's not even funny. If I had a dollar for every time you or someone else, mostly you, stole from me, I'd be rich by now. That's how many times you've stolen from me, and you don't seem to care. Okay, 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 I see where you're coming from, but in my defense, I am very cheap, okay? And sometimes I just don't feel like paying full price for the apples. Sometimes the prices can be a little bit too hysterical and life-threatening. So I tend to do the one thing that I was born to do. I don't care how big the prices are. If you got the money, you can pay for the apples. We've had this discussion 17,455 times before. And yes, I have counted. And every time, you still keep going. I'm telling you, one of these days is gonna catch up to ya. I'm just telling you. Whatever, man. Let's just move on to the next person so I don't have to spend one more time looking at you. My favorite neighbor would obviously have to be Julie. Julie's really nice, she makes really cool games, she's a really fun person. My least favorite would obviously have to be Barnaby. Don't even ask me why, because I cannot tell you how much he annoys me. Yeah, uh, let me get two hot dogs with no mustard, only ketchup, please. You can't tell me that the second hot dog is for yourself, is it? See, I don't know if I should be insulted or you're genuinely asking me if the second hot dog was for myself because if you're genuinely asking me, it wasn't meant to be for myself. But then again, I probably should keep it for myself because you tend to eat almost everything that I give you in like one second then you ask for more. Barnaby, I know dang well you was not talking about yourself. Are you trying to say I'm fat? Well, technically you were trying to call me fat first. If anything, I'm just simply saying to look in the mirror sometimes, you know? 
Look at the mirror for you judge someone else. If you don't shut your daycare attendant sun drop looking self, I'm telling you, I will beat the living heck out of you. Oh, I look like daycare attendant sun drop? Look who's talking, Mr. Walmart Blues Clues. Walmart Blues Clues? Okay, now you're taking things way too far. Well, I mean, technically, you started it first. You called me daycare attendant sun drop. I just followed back with me calling you Walmart Blues Clues because you are indeed Walmart Blues Clues. Actually, you look more like Blue's Clues let himself go. I know dang well he did not just call Blue a he. You know dang well that Blue is a she, right? Anyways, that's besides the point. So you're basically saying that I look like a fatty version of Blue's Clues? You literally built like the baby of Sun from Teletubbies. You can't talk. The Sun from Teletubbies? Okay, that's it. I am putting my foot down on this one. <laughs> yeah, that's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama did. Can you two please shut up? Y'all are giving me a headache. I mean, you literally made fun of Barnaby's mother. I really feel like that hating on him isn't justifiable. Not only did he call me daycare attendant Sundrop, but he said I'm built like the baby from Teletubbies. Are you kidding me right now? You fat shamed him, called him Walmart Blues Clues, and worst of all, made fun of his mother. How is hating on him justifiable, Sally? How is it justifiable? I guess she thought you was gonna take her side on this one. But now, me personally, I would've not let that baby tell Tubby's thing slide. If anything, I would've been ready to throw hands. Uh, Sally? Are you okay? You mother- Miley's fave would probably have to be Candy. He may be young, but he's very annoying. I do not like Timber with a burning passion. Eh, not really a huge fan of Candy. She always tries to blow up my plans every time I put them into motion. Molly's fave would probably have to be Julie. She can sometimes be a little too reckless for my liking. I really hate to say this, but Wally, I think you're my least favorite. Wait, the last time we talked, you said I was your favorite. What happened? Oh, let's just say a little birdie decided to show up on the top of my roof and stalk me last week. That same week when I said you were my favorite. Oh, now I remember. Could have tacos for dinner. Maybe even quesadillas. I don't know, man. Why don't you pick? No, we're not having that tonight. Frank, we have that every night. Can't you pick some? Hmm? What is going on up there? Uh, Frank. Did you call the exterminator like I asked you yesterday? Because there's something up in the ceiling, and I don't... Oh, my gosh! Oh, my... Hey, Eddie. Uh, so it's not what it looks like. Wally! Frank, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs>